Let me start with the phrase which no, every Ukrainian knows. We will support Ukraine. We will, with, we will be with Ukraine as much, as long as it necessary. Isn't it time to rephrase this uh, 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 phrase in like, we will need, we will provide Ukraine with everything it needs to win this war? I mean, it's a question to who should do that. I don't who? think, yeah, who should do, who, who should rephrase it, you know, yeah. because we, we hear this, we, we hear it from our Western partners, including the United States. And I think when they, uh, when they say that we're going to support Ukraine as long as it, as long as necessary, I guess that what they mean is that, yeah, they are ready to support us long term, but I'm not sure that they are ready to say that they are going to give us exactly everything because, you know, well, first of all, it's just logic. You, you, cannot, you cannot promise something that you don't have because we all know and it's, not, it's no secret that uh, European countries are struggling to uh, keep, uh, to, um, you know, provide Ukraine with all weapons that we need. Because they don't for, have enough. Because they don't have enough and because they were not ready maybe for... maybe because Ukraine don't, uh, doesn't know about the quantity of the weapon they have. Even if we know. I even mean, the war on such scale mm. is... If, it's something that the world and Europe hasn't seen since the end of the Second World War and they are not ready for that. So, of course, they cannot say that we will provide everything that, that, you, that you need because, you know, they understand their limits and their because, limitations. Yeah, that's yeah. why I'm asking you, because I think that this phrase has already turned into symbolic one. It is. I mean, it, it has always been political and symbolic, but I mean, but this phrase still, I think it's more accurate than the one that uh, you think should be rephrased to, you know, we will, g because if we, it, it's, it's better this way than if they say that we're going to give you everything we, everything you need, but then they will not do that, you know, and they will break their promise. Yeah. We are talking about a, a meeting, G7 meeting, which was recently, yeah. And uh, what do you think? Can Ukraine rely on the decisions of this meeting because it's not an international organization. They have not, uh, it hasn't uh, even a charter and uh, the deci all decisions are advisory. Yes, uh, it is a sort of political club uh, that was created, uh, I, I guess, you know, in the context of the Cold War uh, by the countries that we uh, that are often called the West. You know, it's the United States and their allies. Uh, at some point, Russia was the member of G7, but, you know, it was more like, um, it is more a situational thing than ad hoc thing than, than a long-term commitment, as we saw, you know, because it was no not long uh, when Russia started to, you know, uh, pose a challenge to the United States and their allies. And so they kicked, they kicked Russia out of G7. But still, uh, even if it is a political club with advisory consultation functions, um, those negotiations that uh, happen, you know, on this platform, they have a very, uh, I think that they are very important as, you know, for coordination of our Western partners' efforts in supporting us. So, I mean, in a way, yes, this is one of the many, one of many formats that our Western partners have where they can negotiate what their strategy and coordinate their, you know, decisions, their actions that they take uh, in order to support Ukraine. So I, I would say that Ukraine can rely on such platforms, but of course, this is only, a G7 is not, because, you know, there is this, mis, uh, I think, a misleading, um, uh, no shit per perception in Ukraine of G7 as some kind of a world uh, global summit, you know, that can that have the power to to make decisions on a global scale, which is not which is not the case because G7 is uh, is as I said, is a political club which unites mainly um, you know the so-called Western countries. But for example, when you uh, what we cannot we cannot perceive G7 
as a global platform that, for example, can affect such uh, non-Western regions, non-Western countries and partners that we also need, such as China, India, Pakistan, you know, they cannot involve them. So I would say that Ukraine can rely on G7 in that part, in, in the part which is related to our Western partner strategy in supporting Ukraine. But if we're talking about global, more global politics, no, it's not the case.